Pope Francis warns priests and nuns about the dangers of, well, I can't use the P word, I will say adult video content, okay? Adult content. On October 26th, during a convention with seminarians in the Vatican, Pope Francis talked about the dangers of digital adult content. He also said that the watching of adult content is a vice that many people have, many lay women, many lay men, many lay women, and also priests and nuns. This came after the Pope questioned how the new generation of the clergy could navigate social media to change their happiness as Christians while maintaining their individuality and chastity. He warned about adult content, explaining, quote, the devil enters from there. The Pope also warned that watching adult content weakens the soul. The pure heart, the one that receives Jesus every day, cannot receive this adult content information, said Pope Francis. The devil gets in that way. And I'm not just talking about criminal content like that that involves the abuse of children. That is already done a great degeneration. But adult content that is a little quote unquote normal. <laughs> adult content is seen as an offense against the chastity according to the church, church teachings. Nuns and priests within the Catholic Church are mandated to live celibate lives. So what do you think about the Pope admitting, talking about nuns and priests watching adult video content? I find it very exciting to think about <laughs> nuns watching adult content. For some reason, I have developed a new kink as I was imagining it during the past few 30 seconds. I now have a new fetish and that is nuns masturbating to adult content mm. thank you susanna mm. you have introduced me to a kink that i didn't know i have mm. yeah fantasy you're welcome yeah, yeah and, and, I'm, I'm, and i'm assuming it must be a real thing that is happening or else the pope wouldn't be warning the nuns about i would imagine so i mean yeah do you think they have like monitoring software on the wi-fi of different convents and dioceses so they like monitor when someone's gonna go like watch hentai or something <laughs> they're like oh um, we caught you red-handed i see what's going through these ip addresses i i don't know but i imagine whoever is in charge of monitoring other priests or none is going to eventually give in to what they're seeing themselves and be consumed by it as well because you know if you the, i can see how nuns and priests are I, I think I understand that adult content is actually very problematic for nuns and, nuns and priests, okay? Because imagine not having any sexual interaction and then being exposed to porn. Oh, I said the word, adult content, I mean, okay? <laughs> but that would be, that would be devastating. That would destroy your brain, wouldn't it? Like oh it my is, god, I mean, the sexual frustration would be on a whole different level. Yeah, I feel imagine. like maybe otherwise you would be repressed, but like you wouldn't be confronted with it maybe as much, but then to be exposed to that kind of content, it would remind you of like what you cannot have. Yeah. So that may no, make imagine, it worse. Imagine the sexual frustration of celibacy and then you add adult content on top of that. That is a hell right there. That is, Yo. that is, yeah, Yo. that's very bad. Yeah. That's crazy. It must have been very difficult. It must be very difficult to keep nuns and priests in the age, in such an age that you could just see what you're missing out on. Mm. I think he's, I think he's right to see it as a danger. Yeah. By the way, well, I mean, um, wouldn't, wouldn't yeah. the other argument is maybe it is better that they watch it and consume it so that they can at least no pun intended discharge that energy in some way <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah actually you're right yeah i don't know i don't know how i don't know um people are saying armin do you watch the non-category um i will now <laughs> <laughs> People have like the super sexy image of nuns. I have literally never met or seen that's my in real problem. life an attractive nun. No, ever. okay. So no, okay. So this is what I want from the nun category. I want believable costumes. Okay. 
I'm I'm fine if the nun looks attractive, and most nuns. I mean, I've seen attractive nuns. I've seen attractive nuns in churches, right? But really? it's just like, yeah. The, the, okay, the problem with adult content is just like, what is what is what? Are you, that's not what a nun wears. Like, what not. is that? It's not like make her cute, but put her, give her something believable. Like, I can't. I, it doesn't. It's just it's so unreal that you can't believe what you're watching. Okay, part of it, it has to, you know, the story has to be believable. That's important. Um, but anyways, regarding the dangers of adult content, the danger like, it's important. You have to feel like this is something that is actually happening. I need to. I'm not suspending my disbelief yet. You know, the costumery yeah. it needs to be more authentic. <laughs> then I can really suspend my disbelief. I can get into what I'm seeing here. Okay, this isn't. Okay, so the thing is that the problem with adult content is that it's so different from real world that it's like you can't. This is why amateur. This is why amateur adult content has a lot of fans because people are like I can see that happening in my day to day to day life. You know what I mean? It has to be something. <laughs> this is why. That's this is why we have a whole category called girl next door because you actually yeah. you actually you're trying to look like something. That you are actually exposed to people because if it's too unreal, this doesn't resonate. It like, feels unattainable. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, oh yeah. Regarding the dangers of what do you think, Susanna, about the dangers of adult content on normal people, not nuns and priests? Nuns and priests, they're just they're 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 a lost cause. Like what like you're talking about <laughs> dangers. You you have already ruined their sexual lives. So you like you have mentally have scarred them forever so there's no oh my god even saving. if they leave they're gonna be screwed yeah like oh i dang, mean just like normal that. people raised as catholics have a lot of stuff to unpack yeah exhibit the a great, <laughs> the greatest danger to the mental health of nuns and priests are the is the catholic church okay it's not it's not adult content okay you ain't but lying. since they yeah okay but to us normal people is do you think Adult content is, is it's so weird saying adult content. Thanks, YouTube. Look at how cringy we sound. Um, do you think that adult content is harmful to I think it definitely can be. I think it's can. it can it can it's it's addictive. And I think it, okay. it can definitely be very harmful. How can you consume adult content responsibly? Oh my god, that's a very difficult question. That's an extremely difficult question. There's probably studies about this, but I mean, I the 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 pathways that get involved when you consume adult content are essentially identical to what's involved when you're a drug user that's actively addicted. So it can be really dangerous and people need to actively keep that in mind and be aware of that when they're consuming this. Um, and I mean, this is completely separate from people who have a lot of contentions about the industry being harmful and exploitative itself, right? We're just talking about the effects on the user, not on the broader social structure or the impact on the people who create this kind of stuff, right? Um, I, I think people need to be very consciously aware and think about how much they they need to be wary about when they start to prefer consuming that content over actually engaging with other people intimately. That's a major red flag. Um, Wait, what's a red flag? Yeah. If you start to enjoy consuming oh, yeah. that content more than seeking intimacy oh, yes, exactly. in real life with a person. Yes, that's a, that's a good indication that you have, you are relying on this too much. When you're physically with a person, okay, if you're thinking, I wish I would have rather, because it, it, it gets there for a lot of people. Like, let's say you're actually touching another human being that you had found attractive at, enough for you to engage in this type of activity, okay? And then you feel like this doesn't feel as good as when I was watching adult content. Then you know you have a serious problem, but... I have good news. I have good news. Uh, apparently, if you stop consuming, you're not, you know, you're not stuck at that. You know, if you reduce your consumption of adult content, you could get go back to actually enjoying that more, right? Mm -hmm. So 
I think the problem here is that in response to um, conservatives saying that this whole thing is like toxic and should not even be touched, liberals have gone, a lot of liberals have gone too extreme to the other side and are, haven't told you that there are healthy ways of consuming adult content. Like if you are consuming, like you should treat it like alcohol, okay? So it's not like you should never drink alcohol, okay? You don't say that to be like, unless you're an alcoholic, okay? But you're like, don't touch alcohol. That's like, then when you realize that actually alcohol, not drinking alcohol at all is not, a, is not necessarily that necessarily, like you can like enjoy it responsibly, like maybe once in a month or once in a week or something, right? Then some people are like, oh, I've been lied to. And they start drinking every day. I'm like, no, that's not healthy. You shouldn't be doing that. So with adult content as well, some people think like, oh, I was told by these stupid religious people that I shouldn't be consuming this. Now I'm going to just go out all out and just consume it like twice a day, um, which is unhealthy. Right. I think you shouldn't be doing that. But some people have some. There, there are some people. There are some people that just need to straight up be sober from it, though. Like full stop. I think yeah. It, just it, like alcohol. That's why I compare to alcoholics. Yeah. Right. The, uh, alcohol. Like I think comparing adult content to alcohol is good. Just because it's okay for you to consume it sometimes, that doesn't mean that you should be consuming it all the time. And there are certain people that shouldn't be consuming it at all, just like we have alcoholics. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, people need to be more like honest about the risks and harms associated with it. Definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's really interesting and tough conversation. Yeah, and that I mean, yeah, like I said, that like completely doesn't even get into like the industry behind it, what it says about our society, about what's presented in this kind of content, what's being promoted. I mean, there's so much to get into. Mm -hmm. Bjorn is saying, I, I so. need more research on how tampering with the reward system in the brain actually has negative long term effects. Wait, yep. there's a, this is a huge field of study. Mm. This is like the entire basis of the well, field Bert, of he's not saying He's not saying there's no research that doesn't exist. He says like, I, he says he needs it. He needs to go find study it. He's oh, okay. There's, there's yeah. a lot of information available to you, Bjorn. This is, yeah, huge. Shreya, she's saying, I have a strict self-imposed limit of once a day, so that might work. But Shriyash, what if someone's once a day is for five hours straight? Shreyash is a guy, I think. Yeah, there are men that consume it for that long, if not longer. Okay. I think five... Okay. I mean, as a promoter of edging, I thought you would understand this. I understand that, but very unlikely. Five hours. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.